Hey guys, I'm Kaniti. Welcome to the read through of the newest One Piece chapter 940. Let's dig in. It's called The Spark of Rebellion. Well, that's great. I won't forgive you for doubting my comrades. Alliances without trust might as well not exist. There's no way I can leave this in your hands. Law wants to go and save his friends and uh, he isn't happy with the fact that Straw Hats, like it wasn't Straw Hats, it was Shinobu, uh, doesn't trust them. <laughs> we see a with his frog again. What's his frog? I want to know. And it looks like that. Truck guy got upset and left. I wonder if he'll come back. Damn it, Shinobu, why does she have to go and say something like that? And I mean, look, is looking at him kind of bored. But you understand why she was angry, don't you? She's been waiting for 20 long years. Well, even if Beppo and the other did leak our plan, I don't blame them. I was see a little village and Usopp and Nami, they're sitting on some kind of barrels, I think. And we see other villagers uh, kind of walking around. It's a really nice shot. Right, if you were in their shoes right now, you'd have told the enemy everything, says Nami to him. <gasps> Wouldn't you do the same? Hmm, if I was being tortured, I think I would last uh, three seconds, maybe? <laughs> oh, Naomi, come on, that isn't long at all. <laughs> okay, so uh, they are admitting that uh, they would tell everything. Get lost, you bastards. I refuse to be helped by you low lives. someone is saying in the distance. What's going on? I hear angry voices coming from the town, says a sob. Oh my gosh, we have this... Adorable granny? She looks really funny. They are new in town. They are former citizens of the capital that were dropped off here yesterday. It finally appeared. The Azuki Baba, says Usopp. And we have um, a note from the trans translator. A demon from Japanese folklore. The bean grinding hag. Okay, so he thinks uh, this hag looks like a demon. I think she's adorable. <laughs> and Nami smacks him for being rude. And we have that frog in every frame. The frog. The frog conspiracy is here. You three have been exiled from the capital, right? Only those who help... Oh, it's Granny saying. Only those who help line the shogun's pockets are allowed to live in the flower capital. So those three must have committed some seriously bad deeds. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Only those who help line the shogun, shogun's pockets are allowed to live in the flower capital. So you know that everyone uh, that's living in flower capital, uh, they somehow give money to shogun or something like that. So, I mean, about Kurosaki robbing these dudes, uh, I think she definitely was getting kind of revenge for supporting the shogun. That man there is Bungo, a former underling of the capital officials who set fire to the citizens' homes every night. He bribed the higher-ups to cover up his crimes. Capital officials who set fire to the citizens' homes every night. So, <laughs> not only their life is shitty, but these officials, they're making their lives even more shitty. An arsonist, and he even used bribery. And we see that guy, he's kind of bald here, but um, there are a lot of hair down here. I think I saw him. Isn't he one of the guys who was swindled by Kamurasaki? He totally is. On the next page, we see the other two guys, and one of them I do recognize. It's Bingo. And that man is Bongo, a former lumber dealer. He profited from the arsons by selling lumber to those who needed to rebuild their homes. Ah, so they set fire. Then that guy was selling lumber to rebuild the homes after the fire. And then... That man Bingo, a former priest and a casket maker, would take advantage of those in mourning after the fires to sell his services at an outrageous price. So, Kamurasaki is not a bad person, guys. She was taking revenge on these guys. She was 
punishing them for their bad deeds. Bingo, bongo and bunga. They were working together the whole time. Because they bribed the officials in the capital, they were never caught. So they had this uh, kind of scheme and they bribed the officials, so it was kind of legal. Though they may act innocent, they are nothing more than evil criminals. But the funniest thing about all this... All three of them fell madly in love with Kamurasaki, the courtesan of peerless beauty. She actually just passed away yesterday. And with a funny panel, uh, with the oldest guys with hot eyes. They gave everything they had to the courtesan and went bankrupt in the process. I suppose there is a god after all. <laughs> By the way, everything I just said was a lie. Ah, I guess she's saying that's a lie, uh, because she doesn't want, uh, like, government officials to come for her, or maybe these guys to, like, do you know, smack her or kill her for telling this stuff. Nami, that was too detailed to be a lie. You were telling the truth, right? That must mean you personally know that courtesan. Who exactly are you? Isn't she the same woman that was training Robin? No, that couldn't. It can't be. Usopp. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Those three tried to cause trouble during the courtesan procession, so that them. They were told to live in Yasu's house, and even though Yasu has been taking care of their every need, they have continued to be patronizing. They are truly impossible to deal with. Tonyasu sure does enjoy taking care of people, even if they are troublesome. So he's such a good guy, he's taking care of these shitty dudes. Props to him. And we see a scene, I guess, in Tonoyasu's house or something. He's talking to, I guess, uh, Robin, Sanji, uh, Frankie, uh, Shinobu, and uh, Kakonjiro. It is true that this card made us aware of the final battle, but that was to be expected, I suppose. It ended up being distributed into the enemy's hands as well, so the plan has been ruined. Yes, you're right, says Kanjiro. You could go up to them and say it was just a prank. But I guess all of our lies would believe that too. On that note, I didn't know about the waning crescent moon tattoo on the ankle. I'm sure that there are others who do not know of it as well, says Tonoyasu. Will you please pass on the message from me to Kinemon and the others? I will absolutely fight alongside them. Uh, so uh, he means there are people without that mark on their ankle that are ready to fight. I'm going to be so busy. I wonder where I should start. There are many people here who will die from starvation before the final battle in one week's time. <laughs> nice joke. Anyway, I shall excuse myself now. He kind of complimented everyone. And perverted man, it was for Sanchez, I guess. Beautiful girl is, of course, for Nami. And she's like, she's blushing. And, mm, so cute. And town maiden, it's for that old granny. Tonyas is such a cute character, I love him. He's so nice and kind. I wouldn't find kindness in my heart to help these dudes uh, who had this awful scheme. And Usab has a funny face. <laughs> Even after listening to that old guy, I still have no idea how you know each other. Same here, say Frank and Sanchi. Robin. Yes, he's quite a cheerful one, isn't he? He exactly is he, says she, smiling. And Shinobu and Kanjiro, they kind of look at each other. And the things they say, oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Uh, well, um, we also do not know who he is. What? <laughs> And they're kind of <laughs> puzzled. <laughs> Sanji, you talked to him for so long without even knowing who he was. Uh, well, he addressed us and all uh, friendly like with honorifics and such. If he was an important figure in the past, it would have been rude of us to question him. How could you forget someone so unique, says Frankie. He was quite friendly, after all. Could he have been your childhood friend or a teacher from school? asks Robin. She's so beautiful. Who was it, guy? That's definitely interesting. This Yasu. This Yasu is interesting. I wonder if there's more to his character. I hope he's a good character. I like him. Grams, Grams, how is your bed?
check. Oh, if it isn't Yasu. Okay, he's going to check on some cramps in this village. Oh my gosh. We see an entire panel with his big smiling face. It must be hard for you to get up in the morning. I bet it helps more than working the whole day. I do not have much to give, but take this. I'm going to leave a little millet and water here, so make sure you consume it, okay? <laughs> As always, you are too kind. Yes, I do not have long to live, so please keep it for yourself. <laughs> what a compliment. Being called kind makes me so happy. I shall give you two more drops of millet. Yeah, seaweed brew granny. Do you have enough medicine? I have none left, but just seeing your face makes me feel better. Oh, oh what a flirt. So he's going around and helping all these poor old people in the village. Old timer, how is your knee? Oh, yes. Oh, Saki, how's your child? Hanko, how's your mother doing? Mr. Yasu, play with me! I want him to be the witch now, our boy. He kind of gives everything, uh, like, now during the day, but he could uh, give that money during the night, too. Tunoyasu sure helps make this place lively, says Usopp. He's going around giving out all the provisions, says Nami. Granny. It's not as good as it seems. We get barely anything for the work we do. Yes, he sold his only daughter. <gasps> yes, he sold his only daughter, a girl named Toko, to the capital. She sends most of the money she earns to him. Toko. Toko is Tanayasu's daughter. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, she definitely cannot be here, like that's out of the window, she has a father, it's Tonoyasu, and well, they're kind of similar to each other. Sopendami, remember? Toko? Oh, that girl. Now that you mention it, she did laugh a lot, just like him, because he was able to send Toko to the capital. He thinks it would be a waste to keep all the money for himself. So he takes it upon himself to provide provisions daily to those who cannot work, even if it means that he will go hungry in doing so. Although he might act like a clown most of the time, he has been loved by everyone in this town for a long time now. He is our saint. I hope there won't be like, uh, you know, that M Mother Caramel theme, <laughs> like he is our saint, but actually he's kind of spy of a Sogun and Toko is a spy too. I dearly hope it won't be the case. I love them both. We are back to Don Prisoner Minds. Grandpa here is getting ahead of himself. Crush him! Finish him off, Madilla man! Here, what you outsiders call Haki is known as rule. Here in the Wana country, it focuses on the concept of flow. Flow, like water. Literally translates to flowing sakura. Shares the same pronunciation as dragon king or emperor in Japanese. Very interesting. Making haki flow into... So, he's kind of teaching Luffy. He's um, explaining him uh, what haki means uh, for residents of Wana. And Luffy is trying to implement this. Uh, he's uh, concentrating his claws in his eyes. He's making a fist like... Making Haki flow into and he makes a punch, but it connects. I see it connects with my dear man. Damn, that's not it. Yes, Luffy, that wasn't it. Rather than exerting power, you should take the unnecessary Haki surrounding your body and make it flow through your fist. So you kind of, uh, you have that energy surrounding your body, like your aura, your energy, and you. You're trying to gather it, kind of make the energy flow from your fist. Like, I get it, it's a nice explanation. Wrong, wrong, wrong. So Luffy is trying this out, uh, but it's kind of not working. Wrong, wrong. Okay, it's not that easy. <laughs> Queen is still eating Oshiruka. Nom, 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 nom. Hey, hey, you are taking too many down, you fool.
at bedtime, so everyone is going to sleep. And I guess it's a pose in the tournament, so they're letting them rest for the night. These who don't prison the minds, they're so just. Like, you worked hard, here you have this food. You have these tickets, you have food. Time to sleep? Okay, rest. I like this. So nice. So, like, you know, spirit breaking, right? We have this big shot of a prison yard, and we see a big throne. Uh, queen was sitting in the throne, now it's empty. And some uh, tents, I think uh, Queen was in his tent here and everyone is walking away and uh, on um, on the scene in the middle on the platform uh, Luffy and Grandpa here they're resting damn it I have to wait until tomorrow but I wanna fight more today I'm starving they're not even gonna feed us at this rate I'm gonna be mommy by morning <laughs> and we see a big growl Luffy wants to eat can I ask you something? Straw hat man asks here. Mm hmm? Why do you want to fight Kaido? I heard that you lost to him at Kuri. Mm hmm? With the guards around, I can't talk about it, says Luffy. So he uses his conqueror hockey to knock them out. Here you said the conqueror hockey isn't useful because it only knocks out Riff Raff, but here it is useful for private conversation. It should be fine now. Do you know about the four emperors? No. There are four great pirates known as the emperors of the sea. Kaido is one of them. I'm gonna be the pirate king someday, so I have to beat them all. The pirate king? You mean like Roger? You knew gold Roger? Yes, a long time ago, when he came to this land. Kinemon told me about that. Kinemon, how do you know this name? This panel is hilarious. Oh my gosh, so how do I explain this? What was the name of this shitty guy from Fishman Island? Oh my gosh, I forgot his name. You know, that uh, mud devil fruit user. And he appears and kind of like in a bit lower than his stomach with a big rise of face. Big rise of face. And the stomach of that guy is so pretty normal, right? It looks crazy. I, I think I, I think I can't put a panel here. Allow me to explain. You got a donor, says Raiso. And that guy is kind of he 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 he. <gasps> Caribou, thank you, Luffy. Thank you, Luffy. Caribou. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, Raiso, Caribou. What? R Raiso? So. He knows Sam, he knows Kinemon, he knows Raizo. I could not believe that you were that, Higoro. This is so hard to believe. Did you and the others really travel 20 years through time from the one country of the past? Says Higoro. So he's shocked to see him because 20 years has passed and he's still the same and he's alive. We did, using the demonic powers of Lady Toki. <laughs> Luffy is kind of trying to beat up Caribou, and I find it hard to believe you, Caribou. Oh, don't be so cold, Mr. Straw Hat. <laughs> Were you fooling around, Raizo? How did you mistake his key for mine? I get it. So that key, it wasn't uh, from, like, kids' handcuffs. You remember that key? That Raizo got uh, thinking that it's a key from Luffy's handcuffs. It turned out to be the key from Caribou's, Caribou's handcuffs. Caribou. Please don't treat me like you hate me. I promise I'll be useful to you. Ah, from this moment onwards, I'm your underling. So, in return, please let me live with you on your ship. What? Don't you have your own? I'm repenting for my past actions. I've turned over a new leaf. And he has this mostly untrustworthy face. Luffy's watching him and he says, Okay, fine! 
Only because you're not a bad guy anymore. Luffy, you are too trusting. Huh? But, uh, thank you very much. What? Is he trying to trick me? That was too easy. I'm even more scared of him now. Luffy Taradona, this man can use some pretty interesting demonic arts. He will be useful to us, says Raisa. And uh, we see Higari, he's kind of shocked. He's on the, on the ground, he's trembling. Mm -hmm. Higari, Dono? Th that was close. I had already accepted the fact that I would die a dog's death here. If it had been even a moment later, I would have died without knowing anything. To think that a samurai from the Red Scabbards are still alive. So Lord Odin's son, Momonosuke, is still alive. That means the spark of rebellion has yet to be extinguished. <laughs> right in the fields. Rise up, straw hat man. Even in my current feeble condition, there are still things that I can do to help. Please, let me be of service. Everyone is so emotional in this country and I can take it. Rise up. This man is an ally. I never thought we would meet Lufidona. He used to be the head Yakuza boss in Wano. Okay, we know that already about Higoro, Higoro the flower. Whoa, I knew you were an amazing guy, Gramps. Here, while we are on the topic, you mentioned that you are trying to gather allies in the capital. But you ending up here in Odon may also be some form of fate. There are four more areas here in the prisoner mines that are just as big as this place. <gasps> so, guys, we have a small map of prisoner mines. Um, they kind of shaped like a flower. So these areas are kind of like petals, I guess. Maybe we still have some stuff to do in these other areas. There are tens of thousands of prisoners here in Udon. But not everyone here is a typical murderer or thief. The crime that most prisoners here have committed is rebellion against Orochi. So he's proposing to gather allies in this prisoner mines. That's a great idea. I understand now. This place is their blind spot, says Raisa. Here, all of their anger in this country has been festering here. The former Yakuza bosses that supported the Wana country th from the shadows are also here. Everyone is here. If I speak on behalf of your cause, I'm sure that they will be happy to fight in the name of Kazuki. And we see the black silhouettes of these Yakuza bosses. I guess I would say that three of them are men. And the fourth one, that could be a woman. That could be a woman, uh, judging from the silhouette. The designs are definitely interesting, kind of, I don't know, nature-related, maybe. And also Raisa. In that cell, yes, I am aware. I have already spoken a little with Kawamatsu. He is the one person that we need to break out at all costs. And we see Kawamatsu's eyes and his kind. I see. So, basically, if we destroy this place, we'll gain a lot of allies, right? Right, Luffy. Yes, I love your logic. Luffy Dono, keep your voice down, and it will not be that simple. Oh no, Rice, it's you for Luffy. It's always that simple. Just destroy everything, crash everything, and everything will be all right. Oh, it is the last page. We are in Don Wastelands. I am hungry. I'm sleepy. I'm so hungry and sleepy. Are we near the Oshuruka place yet, Okiko? It's Big Mom. The Kroger Shark is pretty tired too, but it's fine. We've already entered Udon. Is this a blessing or a curse? Oli is inching closer. And Chopper is kind of crying. Is this really going to be okay? A premonition of a storm. The next issue will feature a title color page. So, Big Mom is already in a dawn. Well, if you watched it this far, it means you like the video, so consider subscribing for more future content and share your thoughts in the comments down below. That was a great chapter. I loved it. Well, I love all the chapters. Bye!